Hi everybody, my name is Patrick Riley with Supply Chain Simplified, and this is a training video for suppliers on how to create shipments for product that's outbound to their customers. Well, if you're a supplier, the first thing you're going to need to do is find our www.scsimplified.net login. And once you log in, you'll be landed in a dashboard that looks very similar to this, uh, that kind of gives you a high-level view of your purchase order situation. Uh, but today, you're looking to ship some product to a customer. And how do you do that? Well, pretty simple. You go over here to the Shipments option, uh, menu option. You click here, and that takes you to a list of shipments. Uh, in this case, we are going to look for a brand new shipment, or actually create a brand new shipment. Uh, and you create a brand new shipment, and let me minimize the window on the side to give us more screen room. You're going to click on this white plus button that says Add Shipment. Uh, it's going to ask you what branch you uh, need to ship to, and the carrier, it's going to default, it'll give you a list of carriers, we have three set up for test, but it'll default the carrier that you use the most often. If you need to add a new carrier, you'll do it right through this screen, you can click here and uh, new carriers can be added. Uh, when you're creating a shipment, you probably don't have this information, the tracking information, the invoice and a pick slip, or even an estimated arrival date, maybe not even any notes. But this will create kind of a, a shipment container in our portal. So you can just basically click save here and it'll tell you exactly what your uh, shipment number is. So what I do is I usually copy it. I'll take it right there and I'll put it in here. We'll find it. And here's our new shipment. Uh, it's, it's in a prepare status. We're just getting it started. So the next thing we need to do, right, is find purchase order lines or items to add to this shipment. So the way to do that is from this list, easily click on uh, add lines. And this will show you all of the purchase order lines for that specific customer that are eligible to ship. So let's just find a couple just for you know some, something easy. This one's got 100 on 49.33. You'll notice that this list looks a lot like the, uh, the, the purchase order line detail screen. Uh, you've got purchase order numbers here. You've got line numbers, parts and descriptions, quantities, dates. Uh, and it'll tell you how much of this has been ship confirmed, has been allocated. It says right now we're eligible to ship all 100 of this. So that's fine. We'll do it. We'll take all 100 eaches of this line. We'll go this to this order, 4935, uh, and we're going to do a partial. We're going to take only 50 here. And once that's good to go, the check lines, if you click on this Add to Shipment button, uh, you click on that, and boom. You notice this line is now completely locked, uh, 4933, because all of the quantity has been allocated. There's no quantity remaining. 4935, we only took 50, so there are still 50 remaining. So if you go back up to the top of the screen, you have your shipment. Let's say that's all the information or, or purchase order line details that you want to add. You simply click on the shipment uh, number right here. And it takes us now to kind of a detail screen where it'll allow you to create uh, one to many cartons. So you can create one to many cartons because let's say this is a, a you want to make sure you know exactly what items are in which carton. Uh, and let's just assume that, you know what, we really can't fit all of this in one box. So we're going to create a new box by simply clicking on the shipment header uh, white plus button here. It'll create us a new carton, carton number two. It's been completed. Um, and, okay, well, I can't put all 100 in this box. I can probably just keep 50. So how do I put the other uh, 50 in this other box? So it's simply a drag and drop exercise. Just drag and drop right here. And we're going to say, you know what, we're going to move 50. And we will confirm. And those 50 magically end up in carton number two. Done. Very easy to create many cartons, many containers. Uh, a shipment uh, then is, is very easy to manipulate. So you can always look uh, on this information. Again, it has your purchase order number, line number, item information, quantities, all of that. Uh, it's very easy to remove items out of containers by using the delete. It's easy to, to destroy uh, or, or delete cartons. You click on this delete option here uh, and off it goes. Uh, so let's assume that this is the way you want your shipment to be structured and you know what, in fact, let me add one more feature. You can edit the carton itself by clicking here. And you can put a name for the carton. Maybe it's not necessarily a box name. Maybe uh, you're shipping containers and you need to uh, name the containers easily so when it arrives at the customer, they know exactly what the container is. You also can add tracking information as here. More for the parcel carriers like a UPS or a FedEx where each one of these cartons will have a, uh, a specific tracking number. Uh, in, in, a, in an LTL or a, a, a pallet shipment, you probably just have a, a tracking number at the shipment level, and we'll get to that in a minute. 
So you've got your two cartons. Everything looks good. The next thing you want to do is, you know what? I need to print labels so it's very easy for my customer to receive this, uh, this product when it arrives at their door. Very simple to print labels. You can print them either at the carton level or at the shipment level. Let's just click on carton for an example of these two items. It'll ask me, okay, what, what size label do you want? You know what? We're going to take a 4x4 four four label. It's a pretty good size carton. You click on that, and voila, here are your Zebra compliant labels. As long as you have a Zebra printer hooked up to a PC with Zebra drivers, you can easily print this. Labels come out. You label the boxes. makes it very easy for the receiving dock on the other side to receive the product. It has their purchase order information, shipment information, quantity information, etc. Very easy. You also can do this, at, like I said, at the carton level. You can print this one, or you can do this at the shipment level. So all of your labels come out the same size. You tear them off. You label your boxes, and you're done. So... Your, oh, one more thing. You've also got an attachments option where you can attach, let's say, customs information to the shipment. You can attach uh, hazardous material information, maybe even an invoice. You know, whatever you want to do, you click on this button. Bingo. You've got uh, the ability to attach any document that you want. Um, so the shipment at this point is basically built. Um, we'll go back to our shipments option that we started with, uh, and we will go find our shipment number again. 001, uh, 0026, we had previously found it, so it'll retain that save. Uh, at this point, you've got some options here. You can keep going back and adding more lines if you'd like. You can print labels again. You can edit kind of the shipment header information. Uh, or what we'll do here is we'll ship confirm and say, you know what, we're happy with the shipment the way it is, um, and off we go. So if you click on this button right here, you will get a pop-up saying, you know what, we, we've got some things you need you to fill out before you put the shipment out. You put the carrier's tracking information. We can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a fake tracking number. Uh, and, and this will save that tracking number so the customer can start tracking it uh, at, at the time it leaves your warehouse. And an ETA date. We will need a date that the carrier believes that this product will arrive. So let's assume this product is going to arrive on Wednesday, the 2nd of August. Uh, we've got both of these filled in. We'll confirm that information. And off you go. The shipment is being confirmed. It says right here, it's been successfully ship confirmed, and that's it. The product is out the door. The customer now has visibility to the product coming in, tracking information, when it's going to come. So there's no outstanding questions. You Actually, if there was a mistake, uh, I'll show you this button. You can easily unship it, and you can, let's say, add more lines or add better tracking information or better ETA date, all that kind of stuff. Um, but at this point, there's nothing else for you to do for the shipment. The customer now has been notified, has visibility. Everything is there. So everybody, this is from a supplier perspective, shipping inside of the SCS purchasing portal. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at supplychainsimplified.com uh, and we'll look forward to having more videos. Thank you so much.